Morning ladies and gents, I'm just coming on very quickly um, You all know how I do my candles um, As you've all seen me do them in the past even when I had my other YouTube channel Anyway um, There's a lady who I've been following on YouTube lives way 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 over the pond and um, I've been watching quite a lot of her videos and she done one the other day where you stamp on your candles and I happened to message her and I said you know you can do that with napkins and stuff and she asked if they still burned and what have you and I said yes yes it's not a problem so I'm going to show you now I've got some decamash decoupage papers and they're the reindeers and um, I've cut some of them out already I have a couple of napkins that I'm using and as you can see I've cut some of the images out um, now the thing with napkins that you have to remember is to take off the layers so that you don't need, excuse me, <laughs> um, you're only left with the stamped image. I'm just trying to peel this one off. Because as you know, some napkins they're like two ply, some are three ply, and so on. Um, so if I just show you what I mean. There you go. You just remove all the backing papers, so you're just left with the inked image. And you do that with all of them. I've done that one already. Um, this one I've not done. But if you blow on them, nine times out of ten they will separate. <laughs> she said. Okay. So you just separate them just makes it easier to transfer to the candle. See how this one is three ply? Well I just want the stamped. Excuse me a minute. So this lady's name is Tammy um, and I first started following her because myself like her I love candles <laughs> and I love wax melt. I have a wax melter in every room in my house um, firstly because I smoke be honest with you I do smoke even though I smoke menthol it it just it helps um so yeah I have them in every room in my house and that's how I come to meet Tammy because <laughs> um on one of her videos it actually says hi my name's Tammy and I'm a wax addict <laughs> I'm not going to get them off but we'll see how we go just blew these all over the place now we'll see how we go with these um, for the sake of the video um, right Tammy used wax paper 
I've just got grease proof paper and to be honest I might just try a sheet of acetate not acetate vellum yeah I think I will do that where is my sticky runner I'm going to attempt to use fuse <laughs> and I'm just going to stick a bit on the stick no stick a bit on the <laughs> and I'm just going to position my images where I want them side and that just didn't want to work maybe it doesn't like wax anyway I think I will use the piece proof paper to be honest with you. So all you do is position your items where you want them. Cover it in either wax paper, sorry about all the noise. Keeping it really taut. Turning on your heat gun. I'm just going to let it warm up for a minute and we still should be able to see it change um, through this paper. I don't know if you see seeing that, there it goes. Once you think you've melted it, just give it a little roll on your table. And let's see if this is, yeah, you can stay. And you just brush off all the, oops, <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen. Shows you these are cheap candles. <laughs> So you would just brush off all the excess bits, but I'll do again, do the same again on the opposite side. So there's a lesson, don't buy the cheap candles. <laughs> changing now Smells nice even with cheap candles. <laughs> I think this one was called Clean Cotton. Okay. 
hopefully that's melted on there now. So there you go, and as I say, you just smooth that wax out and it will go back. Get a cloth and, you know, just give it a rub over. So there's one using the napkins and I'm sorry about that but they are cheap candles so I shouldn't have expected any more. <laughs> so there's one and that was using um, a napkin that I showed you it was using that napkin where I cut the pieces out. Okay so that was that one. This is another cheapo candle but please let it be better than the last one. <laughs> Just gonna peel the plastic off. Okay, and we're gonna position. Where's he gone? <laughs> Just going to position our little cherubs because they need wobbly. And I think I'm going to have them there, maybe down a bit more, so he looks like he's flying. So I'm just going to cut this end piece off. doesn't overhang the bottom of the candles. Okay, so he looks like he's flying. So that's where I'm going to have him. And um, I'm going to try it with this vellum. I think it would be less noisy. So I'm just going to put the vellum round and I'm going to do it one side at a time. Um, so there's our cherub going to heat the heat gun up and again this is a napkin see where it's changing and just folly it round Follow it round. And just give him a roll. Lovely. There's a little tiny spot just there. And this candle is French French vanilla. So I'm just gonna do that little spot there that I can see. one on the other side. Again we'll make him look as if he's flying. And again I'm just 
just going to chop off these bits hanging over the edge. There we go. Okay, so that again was using that napkin, and you can see where I've cut the cherries out. So that was that napkin. <laughs> and now I'm going to use the decoupage paper. You can also use printed. Um, oh, tissue paper. So, one thing with this candle, I hope this works better as well. This is just an unscented candle, it's just a pillar candle um, from one of our local supermarkets. So, there you go. So I'm going to try and attempt to use a bit of fuse on the back of this. Now with this you don't have to pull off any layers because there is none there to pull off. <laughs> and I'm just going to have him there because that's a stack. him first and I'll use the other piece of our okay so there's our stag and this is using the decoupage paper our lovely stag. There's um, my dough. Do you know I keep getting told off for banging me tools around it. I'm so sorry. Uh, 
is our dough. we go there's our dough and there's our stack and I did have some little stars to put on but I won't make you enjoy that um, but when I get some deer candles as these obviously aren't quite um, up to scratch <laughs> just don't look at that bit <laughs> but yeah so that's using the decoupage paper. Let me move this out of the way. Which is this one. So that's him. This one here. And see this green one here. That's him. Okay. Then this one was using the napkin. And as I say, pull your layers off because they are these ones are three ply. Um, and you can see where I've cut the bits out. And if I hide that bit, you can see that one there. Okay, so that's using my napkin. But don't get the pound shop candles. <laughs> and again, that's using the napkin. Um, so yeah, I hope you give it a go Tammy and let me see what you can come up with. Um, as I say, i done these a couple of years ago. Many of my friends that I've met through YouTube um, have got them <laughs> um, that I sent out in racks. So yeah, I hope you give it a go and let me see on your videos what you can come up with so there you go thank you very much for watching and um, take care and i'll speak to you all soon bye